Uh, hello, Bidar. Welcome to Barry's uh, Quarter 3 Report. Uh, I'm Robin Jones, your 2020 president. What a year we've had. Obviously, we're heading now into the, uh, in October. We're in our last quarter. Um, certainly, the last two quarters have been uh, rather insane for most of us and as we uh, have dealt with multiple offer situations and prices escalating fast. So I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview looking at Greater Simcoe County and the Barry uh, Aurelia and, and Innisfil area as we look at the fact that now we're all part of the big uh, Matrix 360 picture and as we know as ITSO and we're able to gather more data that's going to be providing us a better comprehensive look at our uh, county and as such. So um, our month, our nine month overview of Simcoe County residential real estate activity. Uh, the biggest thing that we're looking at right now in September is we've seen our months of supply reduced to 0.7. Even though we've had a huge increase of supply in starting in July, it was outpaced again by demand and we've seen multiple offer situations in many cases and when we have less than a month's supply, uh, we're, we're in a really tight spot. So what we're looking at is how that's changed since uh, April really. I mean April we knew we were we had 5.2 months of supply because obviously we were all in lockdown and then in May we started up and of course prices started increasing in May and we can see that reflected right here as our April number was 509 and we're at 542. So year over the year of the course of this is Simcoe County activity we've seen prices in January that were 509 that were now 628 on average you know looking at over a almost a 25 percent increase in prices. Again we're looking at price Prices have started to level off in August and September and our, our number of sales has started to slightly decline. I think this is obviously because of kids going back to school and also as COVID numbers have started to increase. Again, the nine month overview of Barry, we've taken Barry specifically out of the overall statistics because it's slightly different than the overall market. One of the reasons for that is the fact that this year we've seen a huge number of sales over a million dollars. 384 sales in the first nine months of this year as opposed to 184 in the first nine months of 2019. This has created some skew to statistics uh, as we've seen most of our buyers or probably half our buyers anyway have been coming from the GTA. They can afford a little bit more, they can sell for a little bit more down there, afford a little bit more and they're buying those houses over a million dollars quite frequently we've seen those prices go up as the demand's gone up as well. So that started to skew some of our county statistics where we've seen their average price escalate a little faster than within the city of Barrie. So in the city of Barrie we look at January to September you know we're looking at probably you know a 10 percent increase generally on average over that same over that period over the course of the full year from September 2019 to September uh, of 2020 we're looking at about 13.5 percent increase just in the city of Barrie. Again when we look at the county we see that number was at closer to 25 percent over the course of this year most likely skewed by some of those sales over a million dollars which throws off the average. But our numbers are in terms of our months of inventory are even a little bit more dramatic than the county in general as you know the urbanized areas are more popular certainly with the first time buyers we have less than uh, 0.6 months worth of inventory and multiple offer situations are pretty common. Uh, we're starting to see a little bit of a, a, a settling of prices uh, from you know the 580 to 570 average price range. Uh, volume still pretty consistent over the past four months. It's difficult again to, to, to track that price change. You know we're seeing multiple offers. We're seeing a lot of properties that are selling for upwards of uh, you know 10 percent over list and not many under list. Uh, statistics I was looking at over the last week is you know we're looking at prices um, still averaging about 100% of, of what they're listed for but 13 out of the last 39 sales I noticed were actually over list in the city of Barrie. We're again starting to see some more activity as things slow down a little bit we're starting to see some more acceptance of conditional offers as well. So when we exclude Barry um, from the residential activity and we just deal with Simcoe County, this is where we see these dramatic numbers and change in prices. The average price in January, 510, 656 now, you know, to almost a 20, over a 25% increase in price on average. Again, partially skewed by the fact that we're dealing with so many sales over a million dollars. Uh, a little bit more inventory out there. It takes a little longer to sell a property in most of the rural areas of Simcoe County at 1.2 months worth of supply. Again, we're at 38 days on market. 
as a cumulative average, but we know that that includes condition periods and, and quite frankly it, it does seem to be a little quicker than that for a lot of those properties. Again, uh, we're seeing prices have become more level over the last few months. Activity is slightly down, but uh, our supply again is still quite limited. Our year-over-year -year residential activity, comparing the third quarter of 2019 to, with 2020, very different marketplace. Uh, we're looking at you know our quarter three results here. Uh, our sales are dramatically up in terms of volume in Simcoe County, and include, even including Barrie, our quarter three results again were significantly up. Our nine-month overview of 2020 with the average sale price, again we're seeing some dramatic increases. Uh, in the third quarter here over the last the third quarter of 2019 pretty much across the board and again this ranges from as low as 13.5 percent in the city of Barrie as gen in general to most likely uh, closer to 25 percent for the whole county in general and this is reflected here Barrie showing a 13.5 percent and on the high end uh, we're dealing with the county excluding Barrie at 31 percent Innisfil at 32%, not surprising there as more and more people are coming up from the GTA and that seems to be the closest uh, location for them to, to, to jump into. It really is slightly less at 22%. ESSA, 9.4%. It's difficult to gather a lot of good information out of ESSA because it's, it's such a um, heterogeneous uh, marketplace. But Barry's pretty good, a pretty good reflection. Activity units sold, it's hugely up dramatically in most of greater by 50% over last year. So it's just to look at where the market may be going as well in terms of, of activity. You know, this is a typical time of year where we start to th see things slow down. Last December wasn't like that actually. I mean, as COVID started to spread around the world and people stopped, started to reduce their traveling, we did see a pretty active December in 2019. So, you know, this may actually continue all the way through the next quarter. We've got a great market to still buy and sell in. As long as you can get people to buy and sell in the same market, you know they can't lose. Prices are, have gone up, but still real estate is one of your best investments. It's going to be the safest place to be over the next few months as numbers of COVID start increasing. We're seeing you know, potentially 800,000 properties that are, their mortgage deferrals are going to be up, which was a concern a few months ago when we were talking about where we were going. However, what we've heard now is that a lot of those people have taken this opportunity to take advantage of the low interest rates, recommit early for a longer term, and, or refinance uh, as in, in the environment of increasing values. So I think we've, we're going to see a lot less of an impact from that as we go forward. And we're hoping that uh, we're going to see some more some different government stimulus as we've been engaged with the Ontario government and the federal government to create some stimulus packages relative to uh, home improvements as well as hopefully we're going to see some continuation of some income stimulus packaging. Again, uh, you know, as we start getting, heading into a little bit more of a lockdown, there's still a lot of freedoms that we've been able to achieve uh, by heading into the various phases of the government's release. I think that they're working really hard to make sure that we can stay back to work. Our, berry, our local berry job rate is better than the province in general at 9%. So that's a good, that's a good thing as well. We've got our people are getting back to work and I think that's going to create some more positive feedback within the marketplace. All right, we're heading into the fall. The snow is going to be coming. Hold on to your hat. Uh, you know, as long as you still keep working with your buyers and your sellers, keep moving, stay safe, and have a great fall market.